Hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me on the banks of Grimsditch Mill on the Lim Anglers ticket and we're in search of Tench. So as you can see on screen now, Grimsditch Mill is a beautiful pool. First thing in the morning you just see the beautiful lilies, the greens of spring and summer are all out now and it just is a beautiful place to wet a line. There's plenty of signs of life on the pool, plenty of bubbling, so I'm excited for the session ahead. I've picked today to come on here for the reason the sun will normally come up over here and what it means is it's shining straight in your face, which is okay for fishing, but not really good for filming. So that is why I picked today to fish the pool. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at the swim, the tactics we're going to use and the bait, and hopefully we can get a tench or a bream on the bank. So halfway to the venue this morning, the car started telling me there was no petrol, as you can see on screen. So yeah, we literally was in fifth gear, we've got here. Whether we get home is another matter, but at least we're fishing. So that's the swim we're going to be fishing today. You can see, got a lovely lily bed in front of us. It is a swim that I do love to fish. It's one of my favourite swims to come and fish. While I've been setting up, you've seen the odd lily, you know, move. I have put a tiny bit of bait in just here. And we'll have a look at that bait tray now and the tactics we're going to use. But yeah, panning out, what a beautiful place to wet a line. So looking at the side tray, and it is aimed at catching the better fish that are in the pool. So we're going to be targeting them tench and the bream, hopefully. So we've got... Red maggot, no better bait for tench than red maggot. We've got some hinders hemp, some micro pellets, and sweet corn. And I say the tension here do go from little bars of soap all the way up to about five, six pounds maybe. So yeah, we're targeting you know anything but the roach and stuff like that in here. We'll probably catch them because there is a few, but we're not targeting them. So we're going to be fishing the pole today. I've got a little potting cup on the end. I can say, just to feel my way into the swim, I have got my cupping kit set up as well, if you want to put a bit of bait in. But like I say, we're just going to start with a little bit. We've got some of the pink drilling elastic. That's down to a Dinsmore 4x10 float. That's down to a bulk shot of weight. And I've got two droppers all the way down to a size 14 hook nice strong setup and that is five pound line all the way through the bait i'm starting off with just a single grain of corn and it isn't green giant so we'll see if we catch it's the co-op cheap stuff 40p a tin so at least today we'll see if it makes a difference it's certainly a lot harder more maze like than the green giant but my dad always taught me you've got to go with green giant so Today, Dad, if you're watching, we'll see. And before we even think about starting fishing, we have to do one thing. If you know, you know. So we're starting off just feeding a little bit of bait. Just got some that corn and then micro pellets and that hemp. I have got another section of pole on today. And what I'm planning to do is just start off nice and easy here just off the edge of the lilies, as close to me as I can go. When I've plumbed up, it's pretty much the same depth all the way out. So I've got another section of pole, if I want to go and try another section further out up the lilies. So I'm just going to start nice and easy here to begin with. The good part about the pool is it is one of them pools where they do bubble. So you can tell if you feed another swim, you see the bubbles coming up, letting you know that fish have moved on to your bait. To begin with, we're going to start off nice and easy, just on this side of the lilies, and hopefully we can get a bite. So just into the first one of the day, and a quick bite for this place, really. Normally you do have to wait maybe half an hour to an hour. And there we go. What a lovely little tench to start the session. Proper made up with that one. One, because the bites come quite quickly. And two, it isn't that tiny bar of soap that you normally start with. You know, the ones that are about 
five inches long but yeah target species a stretch on the elastic a lovely bite it just sailed away i'm just going to feed the swim again with that little bit of bait in that pot and wait for another bite and i see some people come on here sometimes and i see them cast out a feeder or a lead and i just think to myself this swim it's just gotta be a float hasn't it <laughs> i'm not really one who goes chasing fish really you know the bubbles much prefer to put a bit of bait down and if they want it they'll find it but yeah let's get back out there and see if we can get another So I was just getting a bit of b-roll of the float next to the lilies and I don't know how much of that's just come out on the, the camera but <laughs> yeah we got a bite while I was filming the float a little bit. Looks like another tent I'd say. It's certainly plodding about. Definitely not as big as the last one I don't think. But yeah. <laughs> camera in my left hand trying to film the flows and sailed away I was quite zoomed in so I don't know how much of it I've actually got but let's get him in and take a look so there we go the second tench of the day and what a beautiful little tench that is it looks like a little male and yeah hopefully we've got that float going under on film it'd be great if we have let's get him straight back and get back out there been an excellent start to the session back he goes so changed over to triple red maggot just to get a feel of what's in the swim sometimes on bigger baits like corn it can be hard to know what's going on because you do only get bites from them quality fish and change to triple maggot the flow absolutely buried when we wake Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. So it's turned into quite a good session. We've just gone straight back out and on a piece of corn this time, just fed that little bit of bait and the float was buried. And mad how some of them really fight, you know, go for them lilies in this one. I think it thinks it's a bream. <laughs> just moping along so we won't give him any chance to get a second breath and we'll get him straight in. So there we go. The best one of the day so far and most definitely the laziest he definitely took sunday morning off he's a male he's a long one maybe an old male and yeah we won't keep him out too long say so thank you very much for joining us on this sunday morning and we'll get him straight back to go about his lazy sunday let's get him straight back not happy <laughs> and see plenty of elastic out but with it you've got to have enough elastic that it's soft but obviously you don't want it too strong that you pull the hook you can see there you just got to take your time got an extra section of pull so we can you know follow the fish out you just got to hope there's no snags down this bit down here just let it tire itself out but it's definitely got more energy than that male tench before so you couldn't get two bites so different one a male and one a female and um, what a difference in the fight this one 
proper went for it. Um, yeah, I'd be all over the swim and in much better condition as well. But thoroughly enjoying my Sunday morning tench fishing. Let's get it straight back. So one of the questions that I do get a lot through the blog is about feeding and it's all about you know reading the swim that flow is the connection between you and what's going on below and I can just tell at the moment you see all the little knocks on the flow like that just tells me that there's a lot of smaller fish in the swim at the moment you wasn't getting that before when we were catching the tench so what that means for me what I read that as is I won't feed as much maggot and hemp and stick some more of the pellet and the corn keep them big food items in the swim because you don't really want to be attracting more silvers you want to keep them big food items in there you can see there just lots and lots of little just knocks on the float close in swim's gone a bit quiet and like I was saying there just a lot of dips on the float suggesting smaller fish about so just fed some more pellet and some more corn on that line so what I'm going to do now, put enough there just to get a bite I'm just going to go that extra section of pole and just see if we can nick a bite of any that are hanging off the area and we'll just give that little spot that we're getting them from a rest I think we've done really well so far to get you know, the five that we've had from that swim so we'll give it a bit of a break and just see if we can get one that's hanging at the back of the lilies and I say at times fishing is a game of chess sometimes you've just got to play the game and just that extra section of pole just enough to get a bite and it's taken what 20 seconds to get another tench it just shows that they are there but just hanging that extra section of pole up them lilies we've managed to fool another been an enjoyable morning on the bank and he's the one that's been getting away with it at the back of the swim just not coming into the main bit it didn't take too long to slip up when a piece of sweet corn landed near him so I've just dropped another bit of bait on the swim we've been getting the bites from and then I'm going to go back out again and just up the side just enough there to get a bite as I say I don't want to create another area I'm just looking to get an opportunistic bite now so just been seen off by something really big I can only think it was Mr Carp so that's a re-rig up and yeah it come off the back of the swim and like I say literally had no chance with it it, it went up there <laughs> it wasn't a tench I think it was one of the carp that had in the pool got a little nick out of its tail where it's had a run in with Mr Heron it looks like Oh, Mr. Cormorant, but yeah, lovely morning on the bank, just catching tench. The weatherman definitely got it wrong. There's a bit of cloud cover now, but for the last hour, hour and a half, it's been bright blue skies, and the swim has been really quiet. So what a lovely little tench to end the session on. A beautiful little one, and it has been amazing today. How different sizes of fish have all fought different. You know, he went like mad. He's been about an hour coming and we'll get him straight back. So the session does come to an end there now and what an enjoyable Sunday morning on the bank. It's been really good this morning targeting those tents on the pole and it's always good when a plan comes together, isn't it? Where you have an idea, you come to the bank and put it into practice and it works. Lost count how many tents we've had. I think it's been seven or eight on the bank and great fun. All that remains now is to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing. It's time to go and see if the car will actually get me home. I want to wish you all tight lines. Thank you all for the support you showed the channel and I'll catch you all next week. Tight lines. Made it just about. Tight lines and I'll catch you next week.